Okay, we get into federated or integrated communications uh, here at the application layer, sticking everything together. Um, I mean, is it really at the application lever layer? Uh, it depends on on what you're doing. As I say, you know, you can have um, ATM uh, down at the network layer, and you as a company can uh, integrate or federate all of your communications, your data communications, your uh, telephone uh, communications, your uh, streaming and video uh, communications, um, even video conferencing and meetings. Um, all of that can be handled because uh, ATM allows you, as we discussed in the last uh, 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 clip session, um, the ability to um, reserve uh, certain portions of the bandwidth and uh, say, you know, this is, is reserved for the real-time communications such as telephone, uh, uh, teleconferencing, um, the um, uh, video, um, you know, all of that real-time uh, stuff uh, that you can't break up, you can't wait for a best effort, um, and just fit the data in, you know, pack it in between those reserved uh, packet slots. Um, this, this allows you to, you know, manage your own uh, communications. You have one network. Uh, you don't have to have separate networks for the telephone system, for the video, uh, for the uh, data communications. It's all one. And uh, you can manage it as such. You are not dependent on management from an outside company. Uh, that uh, was very attractive for large corporations until they found out that that manage uh, was in there, that you have to do your own management of the, the network and, and do all the uh, traffic analysis and, and uh, study up on uh, the implications of traffic analysis, um, you know, which the you know, telecommunications companies already had. So um, ATM was going to be the next big thing in business communications, and now it's not. Um, the thing is, the telecommunications companies, the telcos themselves, have, have bought into this. And, and the big thing about federated or integrated communications is it gives you a huge single point of failure. All your communications, your uh, data communications, your video, your uh, conferencing for uh, remote meetings, your uh, telephone system, everything is in one package. And so if, if there is trouble with that one package, with, you know, that one, well, you've got a single point of failure. Um, you, you, you're not talking to anybody about anything in any way. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, a lot of people find this idea attractive in terms of, yes, we'll package it all in one area, but, you know, you're rolling, um, not just in terms of the, the function of communications itself, all the different types of communication are bundled into one area, but all the insecurities that we have in our data networks and all the information vulnerabilities that we have in our voice networks are all rolled into one giant insecurity. And so, well, as, as some people say, you know, put all your eggs in one basket, but watch that basket. So yes, if you, if you are going to go for federated communications, yes, there are advantages. Yes, there are things that uh, businesses like about it. 
But if you're going to integrate your existing voice network with your data networks, combining data, voice, and video over a single cable, over a single network, then, yeah, watch that basket. Make sure that, you, you know, this is a, um, a huge uh, capability that businesses require. And so you need to know that you have protected it sufficiently. You have to pay attention. This becomes a giant asset. And not just the single point of value, failure in terms of the availability but all of the aspects of it um, are tied together and and so you have situations where um, uh, people can uh, get into the voice system and because the voice system is tied to the network overall and the data network that may present uh, the attackers with vulnerabilities that they can exploit to get into the data network if that's their eventual target. So we've, we've got lots of uh, concerns there. If you are going to do it, make sure that you are protecting it properly and you've really got to take care of that management. You've really got to take care of all of the... Uh, uh, security uh, in, involved in such an important asset. Um, okay. Um, some other aspects, particularly uh, with regard to uh, voice over IP, which is a, a big part of the uh, federated networking. Well, it's, it's probably too big to, to get on with here, so um, we will uh, get to that and start voice over IP uh, in the next session.